The medical use of the psychedelic drug ibogaine continues to be a dynamic hot topic. Small studies are suggesting promising benefits in even more conditions. Safety risks and dubious practices at ibogaine clinics are popping up and uncertainty about regulations is at an all-time high. A related event we previously discussed was the rejection of an approval application for MDMA. Some of the reasons against it were pretty solid, but this rejection dampened expectations for the entire field. In another previous video, we learned how ibogaine acts in the body, what benefits investigators are starting to see in the clinic, and how ibogaine is made in the professional lab. We also covered how next-generation molecules like the non-hallucinogenic tabernantalog might address ibogaine's safety shortcomings. Just recently, Olsen and co-workers disclosed another interesting analog and the 